all righty what is going on youtube back again man we're going back in and as you can tell we are we are going through the week of vampires because yes they are coming out at on friday so expect some box opening i believe on saturday because um our opponent i mean not our opponent <laughs> um i don't think we'll be able to get them before saturday saturday maybe friday um whatever day i get them uh, i'm not going to be going to la regional so I mean that's not gonna really be a problem for me to upload but whenever I get them that same day or the next day um, you guys will be seeing that video so what we're gonna be starting off with and I know what you're wondering this this isn't zombies well yes it is all right I mean this isn't vampires but y yes it is I'm just testing something I already know that it's bad don't you ain't got to comment that why would you get a card that you I know you can't use that's crazy do you play what's the name or oh, you don't even have it this is going to get out of hand um but yeah we're going to oh jesus that's pretty good um yeah as you can see we are playing vampires and stuff like that um so yeah we're definitely going to be um we're definitely going to be putting a lot of damage on board but i just want to basically try out this we're going to definitely get rid of a slayer here normal summon that guy over there i know that it's what's the name please don't flip up a bottomless trap oh that's something i didn't want you to flip but that's okay with me because um, we're actually able to do a bunch with this. Um, what we can do here is go Vampire Sucker. We can use a Slayer to uh, give us the, um, I guess, evolution. We only play literally like one target, so that's not going to be too good. But we can dump the Striges, use Striges for free. Let's reveal the evolution. And we're able to draw a card. Um, oh, now that's good. Now we just need another summon, pretty much, which we, we can definitely do because we do play Mugzook Duke and the um, the things that go along with that. Now, what we can technically do here is uh, I should go technically. I don't know why I keep saying. Wait, I don't want to. Oh wait, if I bid, he's just gonna bring it back. <laughs> I don't want to do that. All right, well we're gonna pretty much out his entire board real quick. Um, we'll just go Troy Mary Goblin real quick. Bam. Use said Troy Mary Goblin. Oh, wait a minute. I think that we um think that we kind of messed up because if I if I think if I try to tribute, he's going to um do you, you think I should try it, folks? I shouldn't try it because I know it's going to happen. <laughs> but if I give him back that, he's just going to try to he's going to tribute one of my monsters. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna use the um, we're gonna do the easiest thing about this. We're just gonna banish it with our book of life, and then what we're gonna do is normal summon. Hopefully this doesn't glitch the game, and it does glitch the game because for some reason they don't they can't process a double summon that's a tribute summon. So yeah, that's um yeah. All right, well I'll be right back, folk. All right, so uh, yeah, I can't, I, can't, I, I I knew that. But I thought that at least when now that I have a like a specific thing to tribute is it will let me do it. But no, it did not. All right. So we have opened up pretty great. It's actually a pretty, pretty freaking good hand. We can definitely start off with the I would say Gozuki. We can soon go. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. What are we playing? Um, OK, we could definitely start off with the Gozuki. Send the um, brood brood ditches grace special summon. Um, get a search and then we can vampire desire targeting Gozuki and then we can dump the uh, we Dump the other guy. Oh, never mind. We do have a foolish so we can possibly w We're definitely gonna win here. I mean, I it, it depends on if he plays honest if he plays honest You might be in a little trouble here But hopefully he does not play honest Because that's gonna be pretty bad for us So where's the brood? Where's the brood? We only play two broods because uh, you know, we're trying to incorporate some um, what's the names in here, and then that's that's pretty good to incorporate. All right, and so now with this situation, is since we have the uh, we just target this, um, since we do have the um, vampire torture and we also have uh, foolish burial, we can change our plays up a little bit, and we can actually keep a card in our graveyard, because then we could just dump this, then we could just activate this for free activate um, we don't play shogun saga which is very just bad in general 
Um, I don't know why I don't play Shogun Saga, to be honest with you guys. But um, we're definitely going to um, fix that real quick. So now what we can do here is we could link these two off for a what's name which then would give us a Mizuki right so we can go BAM use that effect you banish this to special summon a Mizuki and then we could link these two off for a hmm well since we're going for a game here I'm just gonna go to another vampire sucker BAM and then uh, we're gonna use Mizuki for the um, Vampire's Grace, put that right there. Um, draw a free card. Oh, that's just beautiful. We're gonna send a monster to his graveyard, um, and then we're gonna reborn it with one of these suckers, which is uh, good. And then we're gonna grant get our additional normal summon tributing over this to uh, get a vampire back. But before we do that, we definitely wanna definitely wanna link up to our Troymare Unicorn because. Uh, Hmm. You definitely want free effects for no reason. You can use this. Discard that. Go ahead and spin this on back. Then we can use this to target the brothers. Bam. And then uh, we, we already paid our five. So we're able to tribute this. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, what does it say? When level five or higher special summon, just how to feel by the effect of a zombie. Okay, so we can just do this. Bam, right? Then once again, we can just call, I guess, a monster for free. Um, so that's what? That's uh, that's not that's not game. So we're going to go for game here. We're going to go. So we can't go Beatrice. And then we can use both to go to a Tremor Phoenix. And then would that be good? I think that might get me game. Yeah, that definitely will get me game here. So let's go Beatrice. Then what we can do with Beatrice is we can dump anything which we're going to do here. Because I believe we do play the, uh, do we play any traps in here? We don't play traps. Okay, well, as you can see, the deck is pretty, it's pretty saucy. Is that already all the Mizukis? I could have swore we had one more. We don't have, oh wait, we used two Mizukis. Okay, well that, that, that might be a little problem. That might be a little problem, but I feel like, no, it isn't going to be a problem. So we'll send Baron, right? And then what we'll do here is we'll use Zuki to special out. Okay, well, that's not what I was trying to do here. Uh, <laughs> Baron, then we can use Vampire's Grace Effect to special summon it out back again. Then we can just go into so we can just do some damage. We can just do some damage. Oh wait, we can attack with everything. I haven't used Unizombie. I'm so used to Unizombie, I keep forgetting that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I forget that sometimes I, I don't be using it. So I'm thinking this whole time we couldn't attack with nothing because uh, I thought we used Unizombie. So that's 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 a good thing that we didn't use Unizombie. Um, I've been I was looking at it in my hand for the longest. I'm like, wait, what what's going on here? Why can't I? Do certain stuff but no yeah we got it man we got it we got it probably should throw a burial in here might be the best option all right folks we are back let's see what we can do against chimera been starting off pretty this is okay this is really bad but it's oh fucking k it is oh it is so okay man it is so okay it's not even funny um jesus christ this is so okay um yeah but that this is the reason why i wanted to do this is because we could just do that for free then I guess we can tribute this. Normal summon, use Slayer, and use Scarlet gets effect. Doesn't really matter. Get the Vampire Grace back. Um, we're going to try to send a, a spell to the graveyard, even though that's kind of bad. We have to add Origin, because if we don't add Origin, it would not start off too good. I guess we can get Hound Horde, but then again, we can't use none of the effects. Because... Um, because, uh, what's the name? Because we won't just be able to use none of the effects. Um, here, I guess we could send Hound Horde. Um, yeah, these are just usually used for what's the name? I just usually use those for Vampire Suckers. Oh, yeah, let's see what our opponent is playing here. Let's send a spell. <laughs> to be honest, we just might not be the smartest choice. But I don't like sending monsters because monsters like to activate 
and then um what else uh like it's just it's just sometimes okay a lord darkness that's that's not telling um but i think beatrice right here is pretty good um because m7 isn't good right now um hmm see i can risk it for the biscuit but i feel like that isn't the smartest play i feel like this is clearly the best play to do and we could just set up literally we can literally just set up for next turn we can just dump a mizuki off of this um actually we could no we don't have any vampires okay so we can't do that man let's do let's do that um yeah we could just end our turn like this we can end our turn and we can uh possibly stay alive till next turn depending on what we're playing it may be ddds it may be um dark lords um i don't know what else i i, I wouldn't imagine we're playing vendreds there's a distrudo so can't be abcs um all right it's the layer darkness deck all right so what does this do again this card is normal summon target level five higher dark in your graveyard added to your hand okay that's fine you must have distrudo that's fine but there's no ancient fairy dragon because we are playing with the new list so I wonder what he's going for here. Um, Dark Strike Fighter, I'm guessing. That's the only thing I can see, but that's not worth paying for 4,000 life points for. Um, in my eyes, it's not worth it. But hey, some people, some people think it is worth it. I mean, I don't think it's worth it. Um, worst case scenario, if he activate that little tribute card, I'm just gonna have to send Stridus. Um, Glesson is not a black. It can't be a black rose because that would just be stupid. I mean, that's even more stupid. I just don't understand. <laughs> Why would you do that? Like, I'm just gonna crash and just fucking like whip wind, wind from there. Like, what, what was that for? Uh, you know what? We don't have to use the effect to be honest with you. Now that's, that's a pretty good card right there. Um, once per turn, any of the players want to level five or higher exactly targets. Okay, so we just have to beat over that card, which is not the hardest thing to do. We can literally um, just crash, but I feel like that's a waste of time here. Hmm. So I can summon Slayer from the graveyard and have him once a turn level five or higher on the field activates their effect. I mean, we can. That's actually game, isn't it? Twenty four and two thousand. That, that's actually game. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Uh, we descend grace. Um, uh. Go Zuki here? And if it's a special summon, I get to search a trap. Yeah. Let's do that. Then let's use Gozuki. Let's banish. Ooh, that's a, that wasn't actually a good play. Um, let's banish Hound Horde, I guess. And we can just special summon this Brood in attack mode. Use Brood's effect. We can just search a free card. Um, guess Desire. I guess desires, but yeah, let's just do that because I'm pretty sure the one in the graveyard. Wait, a special summon by the effect of a zombie monster. Jesus Christ, I'm terrible at this game. Um, let's just use the one out of the hand. We can special summon that. Um, and this, wait, this doesn't even, this can't even. What am I doing here? I could just easily, yeah, I, I don't even know. I'm just going to play around it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to play around it. There's just no reason not to. Um, yeah, this is turn that to attack and as far as I know you don't have anything to really stop stop anything Whoa, whoa, so, whoa with the cussing my guy with the cussing With the cussing doesn't make any too much sense and there we go We just push for game real quick and um, yeah, that's uh vampire vengeance for you Um the, the the power of the V all right. I hope I don't get I mean, I'm already demonetized. So I, I, I don't think it really matters, but yeah, um, very underwhelming, I guess. Well, not a really a lot of resistance, not a really a lot of combos, but hey, it's just testing. All right, folks, here is the deck list. Um, hmm, I probably would add a Battle Lord. You know what? Let, let's add Battle Lord, I guess, because even though Battle Lord is a level seven, uh, it it helps out, I guess, it helps out in some way. Um, hmm, I don't think it kind of does, to be honest with you. Um, you know what? No, let's just keep three slayers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to go about this. We'll figure out some other time. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I know it was a little lackluster. It wasn't too many plays. But you guys can see, we can, you can kind of combo it up with a, like a rank six spam. So, since it is technically a rank six spam, what I should possibly be doing 
is uh, putting in more level sixes. I mean, more rank sixes. But um, yeah, these are just really the most of the good ones. I know somebody suggested this, but we're gonna save that for a little later video. Um, and besides that, um, Pilgrim Reaper is pretty decent. You know, we can't do that. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna try it today. Um, let's take out. I probably should put Shogun Saga. So, um, hmm. Hmm. Damn it. Uh, let's take out M7 and let's put in a Pilgrim Reaper. <laughs> and then let's put in a Shogun Saga instead of uh, Void Ogre because I like to go for game. So, you know, sometimes they may put that may, you know, we can easily get game on board. So. We can easily get game on board with this deck and Shogun Saga banishing any one of these vampires puts her above 5,000, which is crazy. And we can just do a lot of things from there. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Stay around, uh, stick around, I mean, um, because we are going back in with one more duel. We're going to see once again how this deck works. It's just testing. Um, and yeah, that'll be it for today. But once again, stay around for the next one. If you guys do enjoy the video, subscribe if you uh if you haven't already um and also if you guys would like to support the channel links are down in the description down below and i'll be right back